All right, guys, welcome to lesson two, how to draw a grid. So, first thing you're going to need, piece of paper, pencil, ruler. Um, a ruler is going to be pretty important for this step because we are going to be creating um, a grid that is one inch. And whenever we create our grid for our um, photo, um, you're going to want to be able to keep those measurements exact. So, what you're going to do is you're going to lay your ruler down on your paper. You're going to make sure that the first mark on your ruler is in line with the edge of your paper. And then you're going to come across and you're just going to put, um, I call them hash marks. You're just going to put a little hash mark right above each number. One inch, is a, one inch apart. That's exactly what this is. So, one mark. Not a very big one. It doesn't really need to be all that dark either because if you make it too dark you won't be able to erase your grid out later. That will be important if you want to save your art or not let someone know that you drew it with a grid or any of the above. Okay, so we're going to do that all the way around. You're going to again make sure that it is in line hash marks all at each number. One inch apart. Okay. So this, um, it can be intimidating to draw a grid at first, but again, if you use this method, it is, um, it's not, it's not that hard, and it's really not that time consuming once you get used to drawing them. So if I'm going a little bit fast for you, please feel free to pause the video and know that you will get faster at it if you use this method often. I found that using this method helped me understand how to draw people so much easier um, and I have since broke away from using this method as often. Okay, so then you just come back and you're going to line up your first hash with your bottom hash and then again lightly you're going to draw your line. But this time I'm going to draw it a little darker so you can actually see my grid in the end. You should draw it lightly because you can use this grid in our first lesson and you won't have to redraw it. So if you draw it light right now, you'll be able to use it and erase it out later so that people won't know you use this method. Unless you want them to know, then that's fine too. I don't know um, why there's such a stigma behind being able to draw or not, or you're not an artist. I've heard that so many times. People are like, oh, you traced something, or um, you didn't just do it freehand, so you're, you're not a very good artist, and that, that's not fair to anyone. No one has directly said that to me, but that's, that's not fair. You know, we, um, we all grow, and we learn it different different ways and at different levels and I do know that through practice I have gotten better so any method um, you use and anytime you're creating it's going to just continue to help you develop as an artist and it really doesn't matter at the end of the day you can um, always welcome people to try the same to do it themselves and then they'll know if it's easy or hard. And hopefully they're not naturally born talented artists. Um, some people are very talented naturally. They just um, see things and see the world a little different than I did, at least. I was never a naturally talented artist. Everything I know, um, I've practiced and learned. I had wonderful teachers in college that really helped me develop my skill because when I first started I was not very confident in standing up in front of the class and showing my work so it actually made me work harder which in turn made me a better artist more confident and then once I started teaching I taught for four mm -hmm. years once I started teaching it really everything really started clicking because I was practicing all the time so practice 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 it really can make your art brain grow and help you reach your goals as an artist. One more 
and that will be it for our grid. Again, these, um, they aren't that hard to draw, but it does take a little practice to get used to drawing them. Um, I've got a bright light on, I guess it's blowing out my corner right now, but I did draw in a grid there. So that's it. Um, if you have any questions, again, reach out, but you're just going to go across and try your best to get these measured in one inch increments. And we're going to use this in our drawing of a child. So, see you soon.